Welcome to my studio. My name is Autumn. In this continuing series, we will be showing how I carve a dragonfly on a gourd. We will complete the project from beginning to end. This series will include power carving, painting, and staining to completion. Be sure to join me for the complete series. Enjoy, have fun, believe in yourself, you can do it. When power carving, always wear a mask and eye protection. I use a Dremel 3000 variable speed rotary tool with the flex shaft attachment. These are tungsten carbide bits. They remove material quickly. They're very sharp and they can injure your fingers. Be sure to wear a glove on the hand that does not hold the drill. These are diamond bits. They are used for fine detail and for smoothing out your work and finishing your project. I roughly penciled in the design, then traced over it with a fine line sharpie. You may trace or transfer the design, and I will show you how to do this in a future video. The outer shell of the gourd has a very thin membrane. It's very hard. I like to break through it first. I'm using a small tungsten carbide bit called a stump cutter bit. I use light pressure to carve a basic outline on the design.
right now I'm using the bullet bit for my Dremel and I'm pulling it very gently to me. Don't try to do large sections at a time. Just do small sections. Pull it gently. Pull it smoothly to you. Take your time. Turn it up to a higher speed so that it'll go smoother. And just let the drill do the work. This is the first step in uh, creating depth in the design. We will be using many different types of bits for creating this depth and contour of the design. Be sure you tune in each week for a new video of this series. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for part two.